Hi, uh, I'm Kumar. So basically, I'm an Oracle DBA trainer. So to introduce myself, I have almost seven years of experience in Oracle Database Administration. And this video is particularly for a demonstration to how I teach people about Oracle. So specifically, this demo is for the real-time activities. If someone has already taken an Oracle DBA course and if they're looking for a real-time activity course, then this would be helpful. Just to give you an idea how would be my teaching strategy. All right. So uh, to showcase this flashback, sorry, to showcase this demo, I'll be using a flashback technology as a small example to teach you all or to show you all how would be my demonstration. So basically, I'll be taking a small request that you get. If you are an Oracle DBA, how will you get a request from so-and-so team? Can be XYZ team. And how will you handle that request? As I said to you before, uh, the request would be based on one of the technologies in Oracle database called Flashback. So consider an application team person has come to you and he said to you that I have lost, I have done some mischievous things on a table on so and so time. And please bring back my data as it was before that specific time. This would be one of the requests that a DBA can get in real time. So when you get this request, how to handle the request is what this demonstration. All right. Now, first of all, if you see on the screen uh, that I have my uh, database called RADDB on my local Linux machine, and I'll be using this database to demonstrate the activity. So let me first of all connect to the database. The first thing that you'll have to check when someone has asked you to bring back the table on so and so time is what is your undo retention period? So how we'll check the undo retention? And is the undo management is automatic? Yes, it is automatic and my undo retention on this database is 900 seconds, that is 15 minutes. So that means you will be definitely will be able to get back the data if the time that the application team or someone who requested gave the time which was just 15 minutes before from now but if the time falls beyond 15 minutes ago even then there might be chances of bringing back the data that is how your undo segment works right so your undo segments will not be emptied as soon as the retention fall policy i mean retention time goes off no segments will be retaining in the undo segments until unless it is required by some other transaction and your undo segment is filled only then your undo segments will be wiped off so basically uh, let me actually create a problem or basically let me become an application person or someone who is requesting the issue first of all so let me connect consider i am a person who is as a scott user and i will be doing some manipulations on department table so at this point as you know I have these many eight number of rows on this table now while what I'll do is I'll just do a delete from department where department number in 60 comma 70 comma 80 so what am I doing is I have removed three rows from the table and then I did comment. Then I can see that now there are only five rows in the table, correct? Now consider me as an application fellow or someone from the uh, end user. I will come back to you now and I'll say, so basically I have done something wrong at, let me check the system date now.
So basically, uh, possibly before two minutes, I have done this delete. So I will say to the application, so I'll say to the DBA saying, on 9th of October 2014, at 7 hours 43 minutes, I have done something wrong on my table. So can you bring back my table as on before 7 hours 43 minutes on this table? You will get this request from the requester. So first, basically, as I told you before, you will first check the undo retention. And if it is falling within the undo retention period, sorry, if it is falling within the undo retention period, you don't need to worry. You can definitely bring back the data. But if it is not, you will have to actually check if you are able to bring back the data or not. So how will you do that, first of all? Let me actually check if I will be able to bring back the table or not. So I'll do a select count of star from scott.department as of timestamp, 2 underscore timestamp. It should be DDMMIY. HH24MI. It is in the format of uh, 9th of October 2014. As of 7 hours 43 minutes is what my data I wanted. I think basically I have done it should be vice versa. Let me do this now. I should write the date first and time first and then this one next yes as you can see now as of 7 hours 43 minutes there are 8 rows so this is what the data application team guy is requesting for then what you do as a DBA you will go back to the application team or someone who is requesting you and you will tell yes definitely we can bring back the data as of 7 hours 43 minutes and then you will ask some time for him so basically before you do a flashback on this table, first thing as a DBA that you do is you will take the backup of this table, right? So I'm taking a backup of this table now. And then if you give the password, it will be taking the pass uh, backup of that particular table called department from Scott schema. So basically when you take the backup of the current object on the database, it would be with five rows, right? So you can see that now on the screen, five rows has been backed up, right? Now I'll connect to the database, then I'll do the flashback on the table. Because as a DBA, you should make sure that you have everything, data, every data on a safer side. So you cannot blindly go and do a flashback. Once you know that, you will be able to flashback. No. First thing what you have to do is you have to do a backup before you change anything on the, any object on the database. This should be the best practice of the DBA. Now I'll be doing a flashback of this table. Before you do the flashback, first thing you have to do is you have to enable row movement on the table. Alter table, scott.department, enable row movement. So once I do this, I'll be able to now flash back the table. Now flash back table Scott dot department two timestamp two underscore timestamp. Basically, I'll copy this completely so that I don't need to type it again. So now what happened is my table has been flash back as it was on 7 hours 43 minutes and it replaced my original table. Now if you do a select star from scott.department you will see 8 rows has come back. So basically this is a very small demonstration and then you can say the application T saying your table has been flashbacked as on 7 hours 43 minutes please confirm. So they will be logging in to this database they will be checking the tables if they are happy with the data they will come back and say Yes, I'm happy with the data. You can close the request. If they're not happy with this request, they'll come back to you and say, no, I, this is not the data I was looking for. Okay, bring back my old data before I requested you. 
so at that point now you are not in a dilemma because you have already taken the backup of this table you will simply restore it with imp dp that's it very simple so that's why to be on a safer side we will be taking the backup of any object that you are changing on the database now i do i x i do imp dp and table underscore exist underscore action is what i'll add because my table is already existing on the database now it will go and replace with five rows of uh, data as i have taken as a backup now if you come back and say yes now it is very good now you can see that this has been backed up if i check the count of rows from this table it would be caught dot department yes my fire has come back now again you will go back to the application team and say yes i brought back data before the request has been made so i am closing this request so this is how you actually do things when you get a small request of bringing back the data as on specific time so along with this what i will wanted to show you is give me a minute i'll be showing you something now what i'll do is i'll close this so now if you can see whatever i have done since the beginning of this demo has been logged in this text file so basically this will be helpful for you to actually go back and sit and revise so more of such activities will be taught by me either on online course or an offline course thanks for listening to me hope to see you back if you are interested or looking for a real time activity course thank you bye bye have a nice day